Okay, if you're an owner of a 2014 to 2018 Chevy Silverado regular cab, you're constantly always looking for extra storage space. I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy method to uh, store some tools in a spot that most people don't think about. Okay, under the hood, if you have a spare battery location, a 50 caliber ammunition can will fit in there perfectly, almost as if it was meant to fit. Okay, if you can see this cannon here, it actually locks in almost like it's like it it snaps in almost. It's it's like it's just a perfect fit. There's actually a few inches of space on the side, but the easiest way would be to just take a strap, a ratchet strap, a short and then shorten it to the desired length and just strap this down on there. Okay. What I'm gonna end up doing is I had these straps, I believe they're from like my Polaris Ranger or something. They're just uh straps for like one inch webbing. I'm gonna screw those down in those locations and then I'm gonna screw a small strap down too with a cam buckle so I can just cinch this thing down and unbuckle it when I when I wanna take the box out. I installed my box, got it in here and it works really good and it is solid in there. I'm gonna show you how I do this. I'm going to take it out. It's got a strap. There you go. And then I'm going to show you how I, I got this configured. Okay. You can see in there I've just got a three foot strap and I've got it cinched down with those uh, one inch webbing brackets that I had from a Polaris Ranger. But you can probably buy those on Amazon or anywhere else. They're just a pretty simple. And then I utilized this one right there was a factory 10 millimeter bolt. And then this one was a spare bolt from the Polaris and it actually threaded in there perfectly. Didn't have to do anything. But you can see that. Uh, and then this webbing is cinched down in there so it will not come out. And then I used short webbing, a three foot strap this way, when the box is in there, there's no chance for the excess webbing to get sucked into the belt. Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, back in, in here now, just to show you how easy it is to hook it up. And like I said, the uh, 50 caliber ammo can, it, it fits perfect. You could probably do a 30 cal, the skinnier can, it's probably not gonna fit as good. For some reason, this it almost like it locks into place. So I'm gonna get this, show you how to do it. You kind of got to drop it in a little bit of an angle, clear that radiator hose, and then once you get it in there, just make sure you have the straps, both ends, which I do. And then get it so it wants to lock into there, which it just did. And then this is just a cinch strap. It's not a ratchet strap because I didn't want to bend anything or, but the cinch strap, you just pull it through and it, Make sure it's not twisted like I just had it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now it's not moving at all. And then I just take this excess webbing and just tuck it in somewhere. And then while you're in here, not a bad idea to clean up the area just because it's gonna, otherwise you're gonna get dirty just reaching into here. So I started cleaning up some of the the, the surfaces in here, uh, just use a degreaser or something like that to uh, clean up in here. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. You got a, a great storage spot in this truck. Thanks. Okay, the main reason, what, what would you want to carry in here? Uh, these ammo cans are waterproof, but, oops, sorry, the Via Air air pump. Uh, every time I use this air pump, I have to open the hood anyways and hook it up to the battery. So why not, instead of throwing it in the back of my truck, drop it into here. The hose is the only thing on here, so it's if you coil the hose high enough, it'll put some pressure on the lid and then close it up into there. It doesn't even shake. It fits in pretty snug. And then this case drops in there perfectly in that spare battery compartment.